So there are numerous myeloid cells in that field that show all stages of maturation from early stages to, to neutrophils. There is no increase in blast. And another thing that we can pay attention to when reviewing an aspirin is uh, look at the morphology of the cells. So there is no dysplasia seen in, in neutrophilic lineage and granulocytic lineage. Uh, there is adequate granulation of the neutrophils. Also neutrophils show uh, normal chromatin clumping and normal uh, nuclear segmentation. So you see the reason why this marrow is hypercellular is because there is granulocytic proliferation. Again, you see a lot of neutrophils, mature neutrophils. And in addition, there is megakaryocytic proliferation. Erythroid cells are present in normal islands and do not show dysplasia. So let's go back to megakaryocytes. Another feature that you cannot appreciate on the aspirate, but you can appreciate on the bone marrow biopsy, is megakaryocyte clustering. And here we have a cluster, a tight cluster of three megakaryocytes. And the reason why I'm saying it's a tight cluster is because there is no intervening cells between uh, megakaryocytes. Again, going back to the megakaryocytic morphology, you see large megakaryocytes with highly convoluted nuclei, as well as hyperchromatic small megakaryocytes. And if we look next to bone tuberculae, you can also see that some megakaryocytes are localized next, next to them, which is also abnormal. Speaking of the bone marrow tuberculae, they're completely normal in this bone marrow biopsy.